All right, today I'm gonna start off by making another pressure flaker. It's March 14th today. I think it's been three, three or four days since the last, the last video. So this one I'm gonna cut off as close to the main you know, trunk of the antler as possible. Cause I don't need that to be attached to here and I might as well go through it. I can just saw it, it worked out fairly well last time. I'll definitely have to do some resharpening a few times. And you know, I, I won't be doing this whole thing on camera. I'll just do a couple minutes and I'll show the end part. I showed enough of it the last time I made one of these, which was just last week, I think. and get it on camera as well as I can. Just use my thumb to guide it at first. Once you get a groove going, it's easier to follow it. You can just get a longer you know, stroke. Apply more pressure and force. See how dusty it's getting? I need to turn that fan on but I didn't want to film with it on. So you can see the little notch I've created already. Just take the rest of that off. Or rather, I'll saw into that. I was gonna time lapse it, but you know, I'll probably do this over the course of today and tomorrow. So yeah, I'll just be back when it's ready to smack it with some rocks, okay. Okay, well that's enough. I've done about probably 30 minutes of work on this. I've got a nice groove incised all around it. I used this again the whole time. I only resharpened it twice this time. Yeah, probably about 30 minutes of work. I didn't time it exactly, but Let's say 30 minutes. These, these rocks this time. I don't need to get the camera angle perfect. You saw it last time. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay. A bit harder than last time, eh? It's starting to come off. You can see it there. Sorry, focus. I need to get this at a better spot. There we go, right here. Okay, the light, light and camera is bad, but oh well. Okay, it didn't come off as cleanly as last time, but got the job done. Jeez. Yeah, I should have gone further in there. See, I went deeper here, but not as deep here. Oh well, I can grind out. There's a little, little crack that's formed there. I can just grind that out. I'll go ahead and use the, just use the cement cinder block next to me. I'll do that off camera. I'll be right back. That's a nice fine point on there. That'll make it perfect. And it's actually a little bit longer than my other one. That'll fit nicely in my hand. I can make this really fine, give it a small blunted point, and do the really fine pressure flaking that I need to do to finish up this, this giveaway piece. Okay, be right back. Okay, so this is what I turned it into. 
I didn't, you know, try and smooth out the whole thing. It would have taken a lot of grinding to get down into that, you know, soft kind of pithy part. The crack isn't too big of a deal. You know, I'm holding this part down in my hand like this. I'm not going to use this as a, you know, indirect punch or anything. So I don't need to do any more work than that. That'll be fine. Feels really good in my hand. And here I just ground the tip just a little bit to give it a really good shape for pressure flaking like that. I'm not going to set up platforms and do the, you know, scrunching. Um, the brushing or whatever with this one. I'll still use this pressure flaker more as kind of a, you know, I forget who uses the term scrunching. Maybe that's flint napping tips, but the actual term you use for something that kind of shears. Yeah, I use this to kind of shear off a bunch of flakes and set up the platforms and then I'll abrade and then hopefully I'll be able to take off nice, nice kind of semi-parallel pressure flaking patterns. You know, I need to try and take off some thick flakes first. Thick but narrow to even out the scars here, because that looks kind of ugly, I think. I'll try and thin this down a little bit to match it with that. I'll probably end up taking a few indirect hits here and there, but I think what I need to do is keep working on this edge, leave this one alone, and then, you know, the Dalton profile will be farther in this way. Yeah, I think I can still manage to finish this, finish this up properly, but there's going to be a lot of pressure flaking, so expect two more videos. Uh, yeah, I'll get set up for that and get started. Um, I also started writing down everybody's names who's commented and liked, subscribed. Um, so there's 15 entries so far. I'll show those soon and I'll get everybody's name written on their on their flake, you know, something like that. That's gonna be one entry. So I'll write everyone's name on 15 flakes so far and then I'll grab the ceramic pot that I'm going to use to draw them and I'll be back momentarily actually I just wanted to get starting on the the napping first so I'll take this video first before going inside and grabbing all that stuff I was just talking about so I'll use this one to shear flakes down this way and set up a stronger platform so that I can take some longer pressure flakes down that way. And that should do an okay job. I won't risk using the indirect there. Keep that on camera. I'm just taking really small flakes at a low angle. Or I guess a high angle. You know, basically just trying to build like a tiny square edge and then use that as the platform. Okay, this will be my first test of the new pressure flaker. So I'll start at the tip and try and, you know, fix up some of that, or rather make a nice pattern 
of flaking coming down this way to hopefully blend into this area. Don't have my fan on because I don't really need it with pressure flaking. That's kind of kind of annoying, but I don't know, I probably should grab it really. I mean turn it on rather. Okay, so this is a very very fine tip on that. So I'm gonna have to be careful I don't break it. We'll just start with a really small one at the very tip. Okay, that was a little too small, but it's a good start. Yeah, I wasn't careful enough and I broke my pressure flaker. Made it a little bit too sharp for the job it needed to do. Maybe that's a little better. Make sure everything's on camera. Good. Okay. That'll work pretty nicely. Now, try and follow the ridge that that created. And I'll just leave the tip for now, I'll fix it up later. So I can take small flakes off like that, but I wanna make sure I don't, you know, shear off the, the sharp edges because that's what that's what takes a lot of the the pressure flaker away. The antler material anyways. Did I break it again? Nope. Just gotta get used to this. Maybe I should just use the other one for this flake. It's a pretty strong platform. Okay, well that got it. I need to take an indirect flake here. I don't think this pressure flaker is going to take off a thick enough flake. I really want to try and flatten that out, so... Let's take the chance. it's supported well take this flake at a real downward angle Camera's in the way there. Okay. Gotta hit this one much harder. And also support it well. Okay, this isn't going very well, is it? Oh 
boy. That was a lot more than I wanted, but it does get it thin. Yikes. <laughs> okay, I guess let's keep doing that. Take another one after some more pressure flaking. Just leave the rest of that for now. I can just sharpen this a whole bunch if I need to. I'll keep using it. That was nice. Time for another one of these. Trying to be a little more careful this time. Yeah, that wasn't great. Okay, well I really... This little platform right there is kind of my last chance. Take down this high spot. Gotta be slightly more aggressive than the last flake, but not as aggressive as that first one. Got some of it. I think that platform is a little too strong, so I have to rebuild it. Round camera. Need to try and angle this flake up this way. That's kind of tricky.
was not good. Jeez. Whoa. So bad. That is so bad. Well, sorry guys to whoever wins this. That's pretty ugly. There's nothing I can do about it now, except for try not to snap this thing in half. Well, that's a little unfortunate, but you know, probably pretty fitting for me and this channel. I, you know, spend a lot of time chasing mistakes, trying to fix them, blend them out, you know. So, I don't know. That is real thin anyways. I'm still going to make it sharp and pointy. So there's that. I think this one feels different because it's very narrow, you know, very skinny, so there's a lot more bend in it than I'm used to. So I just have to kind of apply the force a little differently. Yep. That flake is a little more than this pressure flaker can handle, so... Just a little bit there to get rid of this kind of, you know, the point was more to this edge rather than being in the middle, so. So yeah, the issue with this is that the platform is not great. But I might be able to just power through it anyways. Wow, that broke that one. Okay, well, time to reset the platform. And try again. I can't believe I did that. There was probably, 
you know, a weak spot from a bad flake I took before. And then I just, I made that angle way too heavy that way. I needed to come back this way. Just, just ugly. Anyways. There's a slightly better, better pressure flakes coming off finally. Some bigger ones at least. I really should take an indirect hit here. Kind of scares me, but. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Just gotta finish this piece, try to stop thinning it out. I definitely made that other, the second pressure flaker a little earlier than I needed it. So bad. Oops. 
It was a decent flake anyways. Definitely need an indirect hit here. I don't like it. That's the reality of the situation. Whatever happens here will be the last strike of this video. Part eight now, which means I don't know, probably there's going to be 10 parts to this series. I need to be doing a lot of extra work here than I originally planned. Perfect. Well, at least that redeemed a little something, I guess. All right, if you haven't done so yet and you wanna enter the giveaway for this strange looking Dalton preform, it'll be a finished Dalton by the end of it, in another hour probably. Anyways, if you want to join the contest with your entry, <laughs> make sure I don't break it. Just leave a like and a comment on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I'll get you added into the draw. All right, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.